It occurs to me that people don't understand the HomePod. They don't understand what it's meant to do. They don't understand who it's for. They don't understand what products it competes with. So today I thought I'd make a video where I discussed that a little bit. So this is my sort of office-y room. But here I've got a HomePod and a Sonos One set up next to each other in a normal room. This is not a sound-treated room. It's got a bed in it. We're gonna just record with the mics on my iPhone 12 Pro Max so that even though it's not the best fidelity whatsoever, you'll be able to hear what the, uh, what the differences are between them. I haven't listened to it, I don't know, but we'll, ch we'll check it out and see how it goes. So that's it. HomePod 2, Sonos 1. I listen to everything through my iPad, Apple Music, high-res lossless audio through AirPlay 2. So the Sonos was not using the Sonos app, it was getting AirPlay 2 just like this was, and I just selected them straight from the Apple Music app. I don't know what you heard, I'll be curious to see what you have to say down in the comments below, but here's what I heard. And maybe it'll be a little bit different because you're hearing what, what came through on the microphone. I was hearing what was coming through right in front of me. As I played each one, I was using the decibel meter in my Apple Watch to show you that each of the speakers were volume matched. I wanted to peak somewhere around 80 decibels. 80 decibels is kind of like the sweet spot for listening to things. The Sonos One. The Sonos One was a much tamer speaker. I've used Sonos products for years, okay? I've had this Sonos One for a while. I have two Sonos Play Ones. I have the Beam. I've had in the past the Sonos Arc made a video about that as a surround sound system. I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, but this Sonos One lives in our kitchen, as I would think that, you know, a HomePod might do the same. The Sonos One was much more polite of a speaker. It sounded less compressed. And I don't know if there's something algorithmically going on with the HomePod Gen 2 that makes all the stuff a little bit more compressed. The High end, the mid range was present and sort of spread out a little bit, but then and when, the, when the bass guitar and the drums kicked in, it was really, really good. I, I like these speakers a lot. It's not as fun a speaker to listen to compared to the HomePod. And that's, that's kind of what I felt. The HomePod 2 was a very fun speaker to listen to. It had a really good uh, spread to the sound. Everything was very detailed but maybe it had a little bit more mid-range, maybe it had a little bit more something. There was a nice a nice fullness to it throughout. When the song starts, it's very, it's very atmospheric as it should be. And then when the bass comes in, it really fills out the room. The bass in this, if you're a bass person, this would be the one to go for first. The bass was very full. It wasn't overpowering, but it was full. And then as we got into the drums and things like that, it was, this was the most well put together speaker in my estimation from the, the tests that I was just doing. Everything seemed to be a little bit more, a, a little bit more tightly pulled together. All this is a, is a subjective thing. I enjoyed the HomePod Gen 2 a little more. Would I substitute the HomePods for the Sonos One of these two? They're both very good. They both have very different sound signatures, but the HomePod 2 was more enjoyable to listen to. I feel like it would fill a room better, and this fills a room quite nicely. 
The smart speaker aspects of this, they're not secondary, but they aren't the reason that the HomePod was developed. The HomePod was developed to be a music playback system, a whole home audio system. If you have several of them uh, scattered throughout your house, just like Sonos, I mean, Sonos is the master of that. So Sonos and HomePod, the two, it's probably the two best comparisons, HomePod and, and Sonos. Sonos is the market that Apple is trying to go after when they're talking HomePod. The Sonos One usually sells for about 250 or, or so dollars. I'll put all of this, the prices in the video here. The HomePod going for $300. I don't think that it's a bad deal. I don't think it's too expensive. I think that you get the audio quality that you're paying for with the HomePod. The Sonos Ones paired in stereo are a very popular substitute for a separate system. The HomePod is an audio playback system. Unlike the smart speakers that a lot of people are comparing them to, it is more comparable to the Sonos system than anything else. And to my ears in this test, the HomePod 2 was um, holding its own and then some. I would be happy with either. There is a big difference between the two, but the difference is not in quality. The difference is in how they are reproducing the sound, but they both sound fantastic. You let me know what you think down in the comments below and we'll discuss. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL's painfully honest tech, tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.